Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. It's the ultimate showdown. Eorzea versus Gollumol. The power of Magitek versus the power of God and anime. Who shall win? It's the Warrior of Light versus Big Fat Tacos for the fate of the world. Live this Sunday, only on pay-per-view. Time to learn about the poor two Dekimana. Simplified. Ultimate will teleport to the westernmost point of the arena and summon Titan. Titan will then come down and perform his ultimate, which will be a high damaging raid wide. There will then be a proximity marker on one of the four main compass points of the arena. Move as far away from it as you can. Titan will then ground pound that marker and perform a landslide. Just move to the side in order to dodge it. After that landslide has gone off, Ultimate will then perform its own landslide on a random player. Again, just dodge to the side if you're going to be in it. After this, AoEs will spawn on the ground with easy to spot safe zones, although you don't have a lot of time to get into them. There will be two sets of AoEs that go off, so make sure you move quickly from the first to the second safe zone. Zone. These mechanics will repeat until Ultima is no longer doing mechanics below approximately 80%. Ultima will teleport and trap players in boulders similar to Titan Jail. After a short time, you'll call upon Hydaelyn and she'll help you break out using the Blessing of Light, causing Titan to be ripped from Ultima. After this, Ultima will teleport again and summon Garuda, who will perform her ultimate, which is again a high damaging raid wide. Ultima will then create a large outside portion of the arena to be bathed in a purple aura. Just stay out of the aura as it will damage you. Then Garuda will drop down to one of the four compass points and perform a large circular AoE around her. This causes the safe zone to be much smaller than you're anticipating, so make Make sure you're on the far side of the AoE, but still not in the purple aura. Garuda will do this mechanic twice in a row. After the mechanic is finished, the purple aura will disappear and the arena will return to normal. This mechanic will repeat until Ultima is no longer doing mechanics below approximately 60%. Then Ultima will teleport and cast Magic Barrier on himself, which means you're hitting Ultima with big fat zeros. You will call upon Hydaelyn a second time, which breaks the Magic Barrier and Garuda will be ripped from Ultima. Ultima will teleport and summon Ifrit, who if you haven't guessed by now, will do your taxes because he's actually a very well respected and established accountant. Ultima will then spawn four fire puddles, one in the middle and three in a Triforce-like pattern around the arena. This mechanic will happen twice in a row. The safe zones are large, but the mechanics will go off quickly, so be prepared to move fast. If it will then appear in the middle of the arena and give a large knockback to all players. When the knockback goes off, if it will spawn fire puddles around the edge of the arena, just move back into the middle to avoid them. These mechanics will repeat until Ultima is no longer doing mechanics below approximately 35%. Ultima will then teleport and spawn large unavoidable fire puddles on the ground. You will call upon Hydaelyn once again to help tear Ifrit away from Titan. After this, an unskippable cutscene will play. When you come out of cutscene, tanks will pull Ultima and face him away from the party. First up is a tank buster. Then Ultima will fire three straight line AoEs in front of him, then two at 45 degree angles to his left and right. If you stand to the side of the first one as a caster, you'll be totally fine. Or if you're melee, you can dodge the first one, then go into it after it goes off at max melee range, and you'll be also fine. Individual AoE markers appear around every player. Don't overlap these as they will hurt. After this is a room wide, then he'll teleport to the middle of the arena and perform a knockback. Four tethered electric orbs will spawn around the arena. If any pair of tethered orbs touch, they will explode and potentially wipe the party. To avoid the wipe, you just have to run into one of them. It will pop, giving you a little bit of damage and cause the other orb to despawn. After this will be a stack marker and then Ultima is FIRING THE LASER! Just move to the side to dodge the straight line AoE. Ultima will then summon small robot bits to create straight line AoEs, either in a zigzag like pattern or to cover a large part of the arena. There's plenty of time to move to the safe zone. After this, four proximity markers will appear at the edge of the arena so everyone move into the middle. After this, Ultima fires his laser again so just dodge to the side. Next mechanics come flying at you fairly quickly. There are the bits with the individual AoEs and a stack marker, followed by a room wide with the three straight line AoEs. Right after that, he summons the smaller bits and fires his laser towards one of the players while bits cut off a significant portion of the arena in a giant X. You just need to be out of the way of the laser and the straight line bits to dodge the mechanic. Then there are four proximity markers, which everyone needs to get in the middle, which is then followed up by a tank buster. From here, all mechanics will repeat. When you get Ultima down below 30%, he will teleport to the middle and cast Ultima. This is his enraged cast. If this goes off, you wipe and start again. I recommend that the DPS use whatever limit break you currently have when Ultima starts casting, as Hydaelyn will give you a shiny new LB3 to use in a few moments. Just remember to keep DPSing, use that limit break, and congratulations, you have beaten Ultima. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.